Jason Horowitz wrote a piece in the Washington Post, long piece about Mitt Romney and his college years and his early faith, etc. There's two interesting things that I got out of it. Uh, one is uh, something that nobody talks about. You know, Mitt Romney looks really young, uh, but he's actually 65 years old. So he's actually uh, was eligible to go to Vietnam. He was the right age, and he can go to Vietnam. I never hear anybody talking about that in regards to Mitt Romney. Now, you want to hear uh, what his excuse for getting out of Vietnam was? He had to go do missionary work in France. Oh, I do declare, I, I don't have time to go die in Vietnam. <laughs> I've got to go to gay Paris, where I'm going to do missionary work. Later in the campaign, he's been bragging about that missionary work. Now, I know the Mormons do it, and I'm not saying he didn't really do missionary work. But I mean, it's kind of a funny thing to go take a vacation in France while other kids are dying in Vietnam and tell me how important your missionary work was. And then in the campaign trail, he brags about, oh, some of the places we stayed in France weren't top notch. Wow, did you suffer? You know what wasn't top notch? The soup in Vietnam, when Charlie was waiting around the corner for you. That was not fun times, okay? A lot of kids died there. Tens of thousands of kids died while you were having fun in France. But nobody ever mentions that with Mitt Romney. So the other thing that nobody ever mentions is that Mitt Romney has some of the same racial issues I think that Paul, Ron Paul has, except again, nobody lays a glove on him. You know that uh, while Mitt Romney was in college at BYU, the Mormon church was still not accepting blacks into priesthood, because they thought blacks were inferior, that's in their religion. Now later, they changed their religion so that blacks are equal, don't worry. Okay, but at the time, they still, they were literally saying, blacks cannot be priests, obviously, they're not the same as white people, okay? They're not the equals of white people. And at the time, there was wide scale protests. And you know, you have to give Mitt Romney's dad, George Romney, he was uh, arguing against it. And you have to give him credit, and he was a Republican at the time. What was Mitt Romney doing at the same time? Not a peep. Even as they were having protests at BYU, one of the most conservative colleges in the country, okay? And it's spreading because of Vietnam, because of this, that. Mitt Romney thinks, who cares? I don't have to go to Vietnam, I went to France. And uh, black people, it's not my people, what do I care? In fact, there are reports here in the Washington Post story uh, from some of his closest friends saying that he was outraged at Stanford that they wouldn't play against BYU because of this discrimination. He's like, I can't believe they're discriminating against us for discriminating against black people. How dare Stanford do that? He was incensed. You didn't understand why that might be an issue? That you were so mad? So why, why doesn't Mitt Romney have a racial problem? Look, I'm not saying he still believes that stuff. Let's, come on, I, I'm serious. Be fair here, I'm sure that his views have evolved as a, a lot of people back then, their views have evolved all across the country, okay? But Ron Paul wrote the newsletters decades ago and everybody says, well that's it, it disqualifies him, I say that. So why is this not an, a, a huge issue for Mitt Romney? And by the way, you know what finally got Mitt Romney out of France? Uh, Ann Romney started dating the second coolest kid at BYU, this guy named Kim Cameron. He had, I think they voted him like, uh, most preferred man on campus. And he was vice president of the student body or whatever. Mitt Romney apparently was close to tears when he got the letter in France, and he was all broken up. So he left France, not to go to Vietnam and join his brethren, uh, but to go back home so he can get Ann Romney back. Now, of course, they weren't married at that time, they were dating at the time. And, because he has his priorities straight, okay? Now, all this would be fine, you know, if he came out and said, I can't, I'm so sorry for not, ha you know, for not fighting for the right things, et cetera, when I was younger, which he's never said. Uh, and you know what? I didn't go to Vietnam, instead I went to France, so I'm sorry, and you know what? I I'm gonna be a lot more careful when I send other people's kids to war, right? But no, right now, he's the biggest warmonger there is. Should have stayed in Iraq longer. He wants to stay in Afghanistan longer. He wants to invade Iran. He keeps talking about, oh, we have to show Iran how tough we are. The other day, he talked about how we have to show how tough we are to North Korea. What, are you madman? You're going to invade North Korea? They got nukes. What are you going to do, obliterate South Korea because you're so tough? Well, if you were tough, why didn't you go to Vietnam? 